My name is Adrian the Barber. I've been doing the man weaves for about three years now, and I've been cutting hair for a total of 10 years. So the, the first step that we're gonna do all the time is uh, we're gonna draw his hairline. Uh, this is the most important part because once you put the glue and the hair down, you really can't move it. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna cut his hair down. We're gonna give ourselves a clean foundation. We're gonna clean the scalp with alcohol. So that way when we go and we lay the glue down, it's, it's going down on a perfect surface where it's really gonna last the longest. The scalp protectant goes on after that. And then I use my Ghost Bond uh, lace wig adhesive. So I use the air glue, I laid that base, the, uh, the wrap down, and I just blow dried it. There's really not any special tools. Uh, most of the stuff that we're using is, is stuff that's already being used in the barbershop when it comes to our clippers, our shears, um, things like that. In the barbershop, you know, the things that we're really bringing in that are new to us as barbers is like uh, the adhesives, um, the scalp protectants, the things like that, the hair that we're using. You see that stuff a lot more in like a salon than you would a barbershop. Now I'm taking the uh, stocking cap. I'm putting it over that. And this is the final step of creating the base. Uh, it's gonna help it last longer. This is what they call sweat durable. So it can really stand up to a lot more moisture than uh, units that are glued straight to the base can. Uh, the units, they last anywhere from uh, one week all the way up to two months. If you get somebody that really takes care of their unit, their unit's still gonna look I mean, pretty fresh. You might have just some normal wear and tear, hair starting to peel away a little bit. Um, they really just start to look like you need a, a haircut. This is black electrical tape. And just to make sure I get a nice straight hairline, I'm gonna lay that down as a guide and I'm gonna take my ghost spine adhesive, put it right over it, and then I peel the tape off and I have a perfect line. The first step that I'm doing when it comes to laying the hair is I basically take the dreadlock, I comb out the very bottom of it, just about maybe a half inch to a three quarters inch, and then I'm just laying it right on his hairline. So basically this is just creating a hairline going all the way around, and I'm laying them to where they fall out. So then when I go and I cut them on, on the edge, it looks realistic because you can still kind of see his scalp through the dreadlocks. For the rest of the unit, now I'm gonna use uh, the black hair glue. The black hair glue, it's a, it's a lot more durable glue. Um, these dreadlocks, they get heavy. And so with this glue, when you lay it on there, it's gonna hold on there tight. You're not gonna have to worry about it coming off. I'd say the hardest part of the process is sometimes working with the clients and giving them exactly what they want. A lot of people will come in with unrealistic expectations. I try to, I try to be as transparent as I can with my clients and you know, kind of go off their situation and, and give them something that's really gonna fit them and it's gonna look the most realistic. So when they're out in public, people aren't just staring at them and wondering what they got going on on their head. The black hair glue does not dry transparent, so that's why I don't use it on that outer ridge. Like I said, when I cut down that outer ridge, I wanna be able to see his scalp. So now it looks more realistic. So I like to go through and I might like pull some, pull some strands and make sure they're tight and just kind of compress everything. After all the hair's installed, now you're really just going through and you're gonna do your haircut. Like once, once you put all the hair on and you get to start cutting it, that's when it really just feels like you're just doing a normal haircut. Uh, I'm just going through, I'm cutting down that excess hair on the front and that's when it, it really starts to look realistic because now you can start seeing the scalp. You can start seeing the, like the excess hair from the dreads is starting to come off. And you know, you, you don't see the glue. And then I can go off and create my, my outline around the dreads and kind of you know, create that separation. When a unit starts to really look good is when you start to edge it up. So you really get all types of reactions from the client. You never know what you're gonna get. I've had people cry, I've had people get up, give me hugs. Um, just really all types of things. A lot of these people that come in haven't had hair in maybe 10 or 20 years. And so you're really giving them their youth back. Uh, you get a lot of people that come in, they get the hair done, they get up, and they're just amazed with how they look. Um, and you know, some people don't know how to act sometimes. <laughs>